Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to join a workstation to a domain controller. So, you know, if you want to join a workstation to a domain controller, you have different methods which, of course, you can do it. So, the first one is actually using the standard process, and the second one is you can actually use PowerShell. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to use the standard process and not the PowerShell. For the PowerShell, I'm going to do a different video for that. So, first of all, to be able to join this workstation to a domain controller, we need to, we need to make sure that the workstation can access the domain controller. So, the, both of them should be in the same IP range. You know, or you're using the default gateway to actually access the domain controller. So, first of all, if I try to ping, I have two domain controller in my test environment. That's the primary domain controller, controller and the secondary domain controller. So, if I try to ping the first domain controller, I think this is, this is um, the domain controller is accessible, and when I try to ping the second one as well, this is also accessible. So what I need to do right now is to go to my control panel. Here I have my system. Now under my system, I just need to click click on change settings. So under change settings, you can see this um, workstation is still in a work. Group. So we have two methods we can use on our standard procedure. First, I can decide to use the wizard to join a domain or work group. Click network wizard, and from here the computer is part of a business network, or this is a home computer as well. You see this is a business network. Just click next. My company is a network with a domain. Click next, and here you need to provide your user's name and your domain name. So this is actually a long process, but a shorter process, which is just clicking change. And here I'm going to type my domain, click domain that members of, and type your domain name. And of course, you have to be an administrator to be able to join this workstation to a domain controller. So I need to type my um, domain and my administrator name in my domain environment. Okay, so if everything goes well, so you're welcome to the Prevay ICT Wise from BE. So automatically, this computer has been joined to a domain. I click OK. So I need to restart my computer to complete this process. Things will take effect after you restart this computer. So let me just restart this computer right now. So, okay, right now my computer has just restarted. So, I can, if I click or I try to log on, here you can see I'm trying to log on not to the domain but to the workstation. So, I need to click other user and here I can actually just log on with a domain name. So, as you see, we are sending into privacy details, which of course are the name of my domain controller, domain environment. So let me just type my name and password. Click enter, and as you can see, I'm being I'm being logged into my domain environment. Okay, so I'll try. I'll just um try to speed it on the video so that uh, you don't keep on waiting and showing you all the process before the computer gets quite logged onto the computer. So right now I'm logged on to my workstation. Let me just try to show you that this computer has been joined to the domain. And here you can see right now the full computer name is the um, W10 stripe 005.privateictlist.ba. So if I go to my domain controller, my primary domain controller, and I open active um, directories and computers, so and I click on my domain name. I go to computers. Let me see, and I do a refresh. Here you can see the computer has been joined to this domain con controller. So I'll just need to remove this computer to um, a domain to a different organization. So thank you very much for watching my video, and please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to give me a like up, and you can also leave a comment if you have any question. And also, if you have any question regarding Office 365, please just try and send me an email. I'll be able to assist.
to me. Thank you very much. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related videos. Bye. See you next time.